All right guys, so I know that I probably look super weird to you because um, one eye is totally different than the other, but what happened was that, you know, we were gonna do this tutorial for my new Metal Crush collection, and so Eric Soto and I were collaborating on these face charts, and I mean, there were just so, so many cool different looks that we could do, and I just, I couldn't make up my mind, so I chose to do two different looks using the, the same three shades, um, you know, I wanted to make something very kind of like angular and just more like a block type shape. And then I also wanted to show like how soft and easy it is to blend this formula as well. So when it came to trying to figure out what colors should I use for this tutorial, I was like, well, it's the Metal Crush collection. Uh, I'm totally gonna wear my favorite, all time favorite Slayer t-shirt. And I'm like, oh, this is like the coolest color combo ever. And I just happened to have the matching version of it for um, the Metal Crush collection. So um, we're doing these colors. This is like one of the original, like this is from the 1800s. <laughs> I wanted to use Thrasher, which is this awesome goldest of goldest fool's gold. Taking just like a little smudge brush that has a bit of stiffness to it. Right now I'm just kind of setting the groundwork of what angle that's gonna go in. So starting like at the outer part of my eye, I'm just gonna just stamp it and make it go up in this direction. And then for that angular bottom side that I wanna do, for now I'm gonna just kind of start it where the brown part of my eyeball is and just mark that as like my stopping point. Now the goal is going to be to like fill in this entire color block with solid gold. So I'm just going to kind of like make my way from this upper arch all the way down. Um, let's move on to the next shade. This electric blue is amazing. I've named it Paranoid. It's probably the most electric metallic blue that I've ever met. We're going to do the same thing. We're just like stamping on this general shape and filling it in as we go. We'll define the points at the very end. See where like this this angle here starts at the bottom lid? Follow that up and it's like bam, right here is where we'll start the blue. It helps me if I just put pigment on one side of the brush. With the side that has the pigment facing up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and stamp it. And I'm gonna keep going up. And now I'm gonna do the same thing but just connect the dots from here to there. And let's fill it in. This is like the most beautiful garnet metallic piece of awesome. I need a little bit more precision, so I'm gonna take an angled eyeliner brush like this, and I'm gonna use that raw power color, follow this particular angle, meet it at this point, and bring it down. Again, we're just gonna stamp it here. So meeting this point that's on the very outside part, and just make it meet my lash line. At the same angle as that blue is, so just gently pulling down the pigment, I can fill this in pretty easily. But I feel like what's missing would be maybe like expanding on that point right here and bringing it in a little bit. Let's do it. So this is the tediest, tidiest brush that I could find right now. I'm gonna use this kind of just to polish out these little edges and corners and make sure that everything looks like really sharp and clean. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning and go color by color and just polish it all out one by one. I just want to tighten up extra any of the edges, so I'm gonna just gonna take like a concealer brush and just a teeny tiny bit of my Locket Tattoo Foundation and then just clean up any angles that you, you might want to be a little more stark. Cool, so now that I'm done with the eyeshadow portion of this, I'm just gonna add a little bit of tattoo liner, a little bit of mascara, and then just a little bit of pencil on my waterline. So now that we're done with this more angular, structured uh, look, we're gonna move on to the more softer approach to Metal Crush. So my choice of weapon is gonna, just gonna be like a little domed blending brush, like so. And just like last time, I'm gonna start off with Rasher. Starting like right where my crease is, I'm just gonna bring it out like I would just like a regular eyeshadow look. The cool thing about this formula is that it just blends so easily. It's literally like putting silk on your eyelids. So I'm gonna take a super clean blending brush like this, and I'm just gonna simply just brush out the edges until it dissipates into nothing. So basically it's the polar opposite of this eye. We're just making it look really, really smooth. No lines. I'm gonna jump back to the original brush and then I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that on the inner corner of my eye. Let's move on to raw power using that same brush. Let's add a little bit of depth to the outer corner of the eye. 
Look how easily these two colors blend into each other. It's like magic. All right, let's take that clean brush that we used earlier to blend it and then blend these two shades together and fade into nothing. We got to finish up with this awesome blue. But instead of like a fluffy brush, um, let's just go ahead and use one of these guys. This little like smudge brush because we're going to be packing this on your bottom lid. I'm going to bring the, the bottom line just a tad bit out so it'll be like a little imaginary wing shadow. I'm going to take that clean blending brush and just soften it throughout. So unlike this side where the shadow itself creates that bold cat eye, I'm going to use the eyeliner to mimic that same shape on this side. Okay, let's put some mascara on. After seeing both of these complete, I feel like both sides could benefit from a little bit of highlight like right under the brow. So I'm gonna use Thunderstruck, which is like this golden pearl color. Just taking my finger, dabbing it. I love this shade. You could really use it for cheek highlights or extra extreme contouring highlights. Okay, ooh, before I forget though, I, I wanted to show you this. I'm wearing um, one of my new shades from the Everlasting Liquid Lip Collection. It's called Santa Sangre, which is an amazing red. The cool thing about it is because it's, it's uh, like a long wear matte formula, you can actually put these shadows on top and it makes the coolest effect. So obviously the, uh, the options are endless. You can do so much with this eyeshadow, um, but this is just a little quick thing to show you how amazing and rad it is. I hope you guys love this tutorial and I can't wait to hear what you think.